How's it going guys? Welcome back to the PPL. If you've been counting, you'll know we're on week four this week and our opponent is none over than Jack, aka Gravy, coach of the Vancouver Titans. <laughs> Today we're not going to be doing a team builder as I've been super busy as of late with other stuff and haven't had time to get all the graphics ready and all that other wonderful stuff. So here's the matchup that my opponent and me brought up along on the screen now. And without further ado, let's jump into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Jack. So they're going to lead off with, come with me, the Zarud. As I, <laughs> I had to lead off with Palafin because I want that Palafin hero form as early as possible. So I knew they would lead off to the Zarud. Um, but it's fine. We'll just hard switch out here. We don't outspeed. So I'm going to have to go into Verizon. They may go for a U-turn predicting the switch, but it is literally my only switch. Zarud. Zarud, man. Zarud. I mean, I do have the Iron Moth, which has some bulk. If they go for a knockoff, uh, the booster energy will activate before the knockoff, so it won't do as much damage. We, we, we quad resist the grass type move, and we resist the U-turn. I guess we have to go into Iron Moth now, right? Because if they go for a U-turn, I don't want to take unnecessary damage on my Verizon too early. So we'll withdraw Palafin anyway, like so. And we'll go into Mothra.exe, the Iron Moth, just to take the hit. Um, we get the booster energy in special attack, so if they go for knockoff here, it's not going to work. Um, they wouldn't go for a knockoff here anyway, but, you know, they go for a Swords Dance. Oh. Swords Dance, eh? Swords Dance, eh? That's uh, terrifying. So, um, I don't really think they can do... They, can, they can't one-shot us, right? I don't... I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. You know, I was looking at all the Pokemon on this team, and I was like, what moves they get and stuff, and I just... I can't, I can't remember what this thing does. Um, so, let's go for a Fiery Dance right now, uh, just to get the damage off. Uh, I, so, they are going to Terra. Yep, I knew that was a possibility, but I didn't know whether they would or not. But they definitely do. They tear it into their poison type, so they are going to be able to take Sludge Wave. Luckily, we didn't go for Sludge Wave. We went for Fiery Dance, so that's fine. Um, it's still going to do some nice damage. They go for a knockoff again. Wow. Even though we didn't have an item, it still KOs us in one shot. That is just terrifying. So... Um, Palafin, Palafin, Palafin. Um, are you the one to go into, or is it too soon for that? Uh, I think we have to go Verizon here. I might, I might have thrown this game. I might have already thrown this game. I, I, I am not well prepared for this at all. I, I thought I was prepared, but I guess I'm not. Um, <laughs> oh God. Let's go for a Stone Edge anyway. Um, we don't outspeed, I don't think. Or do we? I, I, I'm throwing a blank. I'm flustered. I'm flustered, and it's making it's making me forget everything. I forgot what type is Zarud. It's Fire type, right? Anyway, we go for a Stone Edge. We do outspeed, of course, and that does nothing. They go for a U-turn. That's going to KO me, right? No, it doesn't KO me. So that Stone Edge did nothing. Why did it do nothing to a Zarud? Is it defensive with Swords Dance? Great Tusky comes in. That is the Great Tusk, of course. Um, do I? What do I do here? I guess Great Tusk is a threat. Big threat. Do I just go for the Leaf Blade for the damage? Or do I Swords Dance? There's no point Swords Dancing. They have a Talon Flame right there. I guess we just go for damage. Let's go for a Leaf Blade for damage. Uh, Leaf Blade comes through. It's going to do half to the Great Tussie, which is great. Um, they go for a close combat, which is going to KO us, right? Yeah, KOs us, but it does lower the defense, which can be useful. Um, if They're probably Water Absorb Lapras. I think our best bet here... Is, I think our best bet here is going to either be Politoed to get the rain up for... for Palafin, or we'll just go Palafin straight up. I think we just go Palafin straight up. We're going to All Might, Palafin. Like so. And then I guess they probably go into either Farigarath to block the Jet Punch, Lapras to block the Jet Punch, or Talonflame to punish the Jet Punch with Flame Body. It's one of the two. I can't let this thing get burned. Maybe I should have put Protective Pads on the Palafin instead, but then it wouldn't have the power. The power! Power! Um, I guess we just flip turn, right? Yeah, I guess we just flip turn. I guess we just flip turn. So they go, because if they, if they go Lapras, that's a good play. They predicted right, but I could have close combat. They go Riding Squirty. That's going to be the Lapras, right? Yeah, Lapras comes in looking nice. Flip turn obviously doesn't work because of the water absorb, which is unfortunate. Um, So what do we do? 
What do I do? What do I do? So, Florgis is physically defensive with Calm Mind. But if they're Perish Song, the Perish Song, we kind of can't do it. Um, I should have gone for a close combat predicting the Lapras switch there. That was. I even said it. I even said it. I just didn't want to get punished by that Talonflame, you know? I, they wouldn't bring Talonflame in this early. Um, let's go for... Go for the switch into uh, Florgis. We could still win with BS Florgis Calm Mind shenanigans. It's always a possibility. So we'll go Florgis. Nice and shiny. Freeze dry. That's fine. That's not going to do much. I doubt that the Perish song. No freeze. That's nice. <laughs> nice to not get hacks. They probably have Terra Blast on their um, Zarude. I am going to Calm Mind here. I'm going to Calm Mind. And I'm definitely going to Calm Mind. They do withdraw the Lapras. What are they going to go into? Borkoff. What's that? Talonflame. Okay, Talonflame's fine. So Calm Mind comes through. Do we lose much from going for Terra? Probably not too much. I mean, Moonblast and Terra Blast are still going to do the same amount of damage to this thing. I don't know what this thing wants to do. I don't know whether it's going to be like Banded Brave Bird, the classic set from back in Gen 6. I guess I go for another Carmine because I'm physically defensive. They have got Taunt. Okay, so Taunt is fine. I tried to go for another Carmine there and Taunt just shuts me down. So that's fine. Um, So what do I do here? Do I try and get the Rain up? Rain would be cool. Rain would be real cool. Um, I say we go Rain. I, I think we get Politoed and get the Rain up. That's going to help with the uh, power from Palafin. And if we can get rid of the fr um, the Frigraph or the Lab, if we get rid of the Frigraph and Lapras, then, uh, I need I need I, I I've gone off to a rocky start again. J this is the same as the Q game. Sacked Palasan straight away on the Q game. Right, this thing comes in there. This this is fine. So um, if they if I assume um, they could go for a U-turn though to get Chip. So I can't double because they could go for a U-turn. Um, I guess I just go for a... They always go Lapras here, right? So do I just go Palafin? And close combat? Or is that too... Because they could burn here. I'm going to have to make some drastic plays. So if I assume they're going to go Lapras here, because they can freeze dry us, I should go Palafin straight away. They withdraw. Okay, so they didn't have a U-turn. That's good to know. And they're going to go riding Squirty, which is the Lapras. So we made the right play, which is nice. Okay, we're, we're, we're slowly crawling back. Slowly crawling back. Which is very nice. All Might comes in. There we go. So we made the right play for a change, which is nice. Um, now, if we assume that we go... For, if, if they assume we go for a close combat here, they go into Talonflame. In which case, we should flip turn here. They wouldn't expect us to flip turn. Or is it better to just go for the close combat? I'm overthinking it. I'm, I'm overthinking it. Just go for the close combat, Jack. Screw it. And um, they do withdraw. If they go Talonflame, they're baiting for the burn. Borkov comes in. That's fine. At least we got some chip damage off on it. If we get burned, it's like sucks, but it's whatever. That did a lot of damage. Lowers our defenses. No burn. No burn would be nice. There's the burn. Right, it's over. Palafin can't do anything now. Palafin can't do anything. I should have I should have just either flip turn there or switched out. Flip turn would have at least KO'd the Talonflame if, even if it got me burned. <sighs> um, they probably roost here. If they probably roost... If they probably roost... Because there's no... I, I'd love to have aromatherapy on floor just, but it's not in the bloody game. Or at least they don't get it in the game. I guess the best switch is Politoed here. I'm going to go Politoed. Screw it. I'm going to go Politoed. They do withdraw. They make a switch themselves. And now they're going into Lapras. So I could have stayed in cover for another close combat. And it would have still done a decent bit of chip. But you know what? This is fine. So we'll go into Chubbs. We're going to Chubbs, and then we'll have to switch out straight away. This game is just switch, 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 which I love. I absolutely adore switch, 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 switch. They wouldn't expect me to go Palafin, so I think they... 
I'm just gonna go with Mighty Eno. It's Orange Salt Vest Mon. Um, so we can at least take a hit from this thing. Even in the rain, the Hydro Pump won't KO us. It might two shards, but it won't KO us. And we outspeed, so we can at least get some damage off. So they're going for Liquidation, which is a physical move, which is gonna hurt because the Assault Vest does not stop that. Um, our best bet to hit this thing is probably gonna be Endeavor. And if they go for an Ice Shard to block the suck, no, there we go for an Endeavor. Just go for the Endeavor, Jack. Endeavor comes through. It's gonna do a nice chunk of damage to the Lapras. We do get hurt by the Rocky Helmet, and then Liquidation just comes through and finishes off Mighty Ender. So at least we weaken the Lapras. But we're definitely getting six owed here, and it's making me question a lot of things. <laughs> it's making me question a lot of things right now. I guess we just go Palafin and we close combat. Palafin could still do a lot of damage to the team despite the burn because um, we still got the choice ban and we're still in the rain. I guess we just close combat here every single time. Uh, they might just let Lapras go down. They might expect us to over predict because we're at that stage where it's like we're, we're free and they're six. So we might over predict here. Um, so I'm hoping they do stay in, but they probably won't. Yay, we got a KO. That's nice. Nicely done. So... Yeah, I, I figured they might expect me to overpredict because I'm like, like kind of flustered right now. I'm very flustered. I, I've, I've thrown this game like I, I, I didn't know what I was getting myself into coming into this league. I did all right in the GBA, but then again, I had an assistant coach that would help me with team building. <laughs> Calm Colin comes in. She's the Frigora. So this thing's an interesting choice. Um, so I, I don't have the Mighty Ender anymore, which is unfortunate, but I do have the Florges. So I'm going to go Florges. If they want to set up Calm Mines and stuff, they can set up the Calm Mines. I'm going to do the exact same thing. So the only difference is I think I, I don't think Freograph gets good recovery, right? So we're going to Florges. They go for an Agility. Are they a Stored Power set? I bet they're Stored Power with Agility. I bet you any money they are. So the Rain's going to stop, which is fine. I'm going to Calm Mind again. I don't see any reason not to. They go for a Nasty Plot. And not Calm Mind. Nasty Plot. That's the worst case scenario right there. So we go for a Calm Mind. Now, I'm pretty confident we can still take a Stored Power like an Absolute Champ. And I'm also pretty confident a plus one special attack Moonblast will two-shot this thing. But I could be completely wrong. Um, so I'm going to go for a Moonblast. I'm not going to bother trying to go uh, for a... They go for a Size Shock. And luckily we do live. But this Moonblast, unfortunately, means... Yeah, it's two shot. And the Berry. And they probably have... No, they'll have Armor Tail to stop the Palafin, but... Um, we'll see, I guess. We will see. So with their agility, it's pretty much GG, right? Freegraph, like, sweeps the entire team. Right? Right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's go for it. Psyshock again. That's fine. That's going to take out Florges. I'm just happy that I didn't get 6 0 I'm just happy I managed to get the KO on that Lapras, but, but Jack's just completely dominated me. And I feel violated. But at the same time, it's like, it's pretty cool, actually. Um, I guess we go into Politoed because Politoed's kind of bulky. Not as bulky as Florges, so it probably can't take a Psy Shock. But the Drizzle's nice, I guess. So we can go for a... Potentially go for a Haze. So I'm going to try and go for a Haze against this thing. If we can live with a hit... No, we don't live a Thunderbolt, that's for sure. Yeah, we don't live a Thunderbolt. So that's GG. So Ferrigraph came through. Pretty awesome. Kind of lame. For, for me, I mean. Pretty awesome for Jack. Lame for me. So we're going to you. And I guess the only chance that we have is that they're not Armor Tail. So let's just go for Jet Punch and see if they are. Yeah, they are Armor Tail. Of course they are. So it's fine. We wouldn't have outsped anyway. We got KO'd. It's whatever. <laughs> I'm salty. I'm not salty, but I'm salty at the same time. I, I didn't prep very well. I, you know what? I'm going to really knuckle down for next week, and I'm going to really try my best because, you know, I'm I'm clearly doing something wrong here. But oh well. GG Jack. That was a fun one. Um, Jafregraf kind of showed me who's boss.